Um, you were talking about lousy Wi-Fi. <laughs> Yeah, it's you know it's a challenge good for uh, uh, living here in the third world because it does affect your uh, uh, productivity, ba? You know you you end up frustrated and it's your you know your 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 work, your general well-being when you when you know when your Wi-Fi is lousy. Is it hey, is it know, all over Cebu? We do so many things. This is a world country. Yeah, and it's it's not just like you know people say it's a globe, but you know people who who are also with the other provider smart they also say it's lousy. Yeah. So it's you know it's just it's, really it's just, yeah third world living. Yeah, you know, <laughs> what can we do? So, I mean, I, I I'm I'm so so yeah with with you and you know the states when I was there, wow everything worked perfectly. Well, tech, uh, you know Wi-Fi at least. What do you think? Well, you know, I'm, I have my Zoom uh, laptop in this room. My office is someplace else because the reception in my office is lousy. So mm-hmm. I've had to set this Zoom uh, section in the house because it's really strong here. So, you know, I guess it depends on the airwaves or something. I'm not sure how it works, but it's not always good here either, you know. So it might, you know, I, I don't know why. Um, Henry, I am curious. So, you know, I read, I, I follow up COVID rates. Um, and obviously you can see that it's really high in the States. But in, some, in the Philippines, the, the rates are low. Is, is that true? Is, the you do not have a lot of people getting sick you do not have a lot of people dying from covid um or is it because they're not counted properly i'm not sure i'm not sure about the numbers i haven't been following the numbers quite as um intensely but um hmm uh from a personal point of view i, I yeah. just had um a staff that tested positive last week um my best friend and uh his parents are in the hospital right now in, in they were in the covid icu uh before they were transferred to a private room um we know friends cecilia who have died who have um who are in the hospital fighting for their lives right now frontliners uh so I, I I don't really know uh, to compare. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What, what, one 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 thing that I you know I feel strongly about is that um, so so yeah, that other countries are now rolling out the vaccine, and here in the Philippines we don't know when that's gonna happen. There's no clear schedule, or yeah. or at least you know information that's being filtered to me. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's definite now that we're gonna get COVID. What kind of COVID? Or do we have to pay for it? Is it for free? Voila. So yeah, yeah. Again, again, you know, it's it's a challenge just of living in the third world. Um. So. Yeah, does I that know. answer your question? I yes, yes, it does. I I um, you know, my my cousin passed away from COVID there in Cebu, um, Tony Cuenco. And he was 84 years old and he died last, I think it was around July, 2020. Um, and then I would hear of other cases in the Philippines of people getting um, COVID. Um, and then of course, you know, in Facebook, there's so many of this pray for, you know, pray for this person, that person. Um, I, yeah, it's, it's just really kind of a bad time really. So how do you, how do you, what are you going to do now with uh, this pandemic still going on? You're not sure about when vaccinations will, will happen. How will this affect you? What are your immediate plans? Um, for a while, I was really paranoid when, that, when, that, um, when, when the pandemic kicked in. Yeah. I, I did not leave my house for a few months and because... Uh, you, you just didn't know there the, the information was very vague and then 
over time you 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 know you kind of had access to more information and um for me personally uh we have to go on transition to online again and the new normal ah. so you have you you can't let covid um stop you from yeah. doing your work um uh younger people have been quite adept at transitioning into 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 the online environment zoom yeah. i mean this is like what probably my third zoom <laughs> third zoom <laughs> meeting because you know, i refuse to install zoom and uh so so this is my third zoom meeting no or fourth yeah and uh still getting used to it but definitely it's a it's it's a great way to keep in touch and to to do stuff while during the pandemic but, so yeah but, transitioning to new normal but henry then how does that affect your theatrical work your sigulit fest your work with children when this was really kind of hands on How uh, you just have to adjust. You just have to adjust. Like we we just launched an uh, an an uh, an online workshop last week, ah. and we're fine tuning that. So hopefully we'll be able to 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 to, to still give it the same magical experience as we used to do with um, in person events. Um, right. Aside from that, a lot of people also take this time to recharge to consume media. Read books, watch movies, and yeah, you know, yeah. just be connecting with people—people people that you normally wouldn't have connected with. Or, um, what I'd like to, what I've been thinking about though is how we have, um, as people, what 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 we have done during the pandemic and what what it signifies, like you know. You have people who suddenly cook more, you know, do yeah. arts and crafts or take care of plants. And I'm thinking, you know, will will this be um, relegated to just during COVID, or will it continue? And 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 what does that say about us? What does that um, um, say about the changing dynamics and the landscapes of of, of living? Uh, so. Yeah, and those are those are the things that go on in my head. What, so what, what, what how do we emoji, imagine a post-pandemic world? What? I think that um, people are generally more introspective now and gentler. I think because um, you, you you that's the way you cope. You know you 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 know they're 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 more into like plants, you know, taking care of pets and cooking. These are things you normally wouldn't do. You just, you know, you're so used to going yeah. to the mall yeah, and getting around. things. So, you know, using your hands, for example, is 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 an activity that you know, hopefully will go on even after 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 the pandemic. People will still, you know, harken back to a gentler maybe life. Okay. Um Uh, also, the consumption of um, of online media is is something to 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 think about to to to, to oh. ponder, you know. Netflix, Netflix every night. for example. I mean, we have the we, we we have recommendations. You know, I, I just recommend <laughs> rec- recommended that pretend it's a city documentary for you to watch. Yes, yes, um, I have to watch fascinating. that. Fascinating. It's you saw it? it's uh, fascinating. It's just you know, Martin Scorsese following this writer, Fred okay. Lebovitz, around New York, and she's just, you know, talking about the weather and you know, and having money and the traffic and dealing with tourists who stop in the middle of this busy New York street. I mean, um, yeah. So that one and the the rise of K drama, for example, in the um, Philippines. I mean, wow. You know, it is a phenomenon, and it's interesting to see. Oh, you know, we're not that subservient to colonial media, American yeah. in particular. And we're we're watching we're watching more different stuff. You know, you have like stuff from Thailand, stuff from uh, from from Korea, and people are 
you, you are watching it and talking about it yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, I, I and, love and, you know, Korean even, films. The South Koreans right? make great films. So, and yeah, traditional that's, that's media, really... for example. Yeah, you were just asking me about Facebook marketing and boosting ads on Facebook. Because, you, you, unlike before, you had to go to Sunstar or Freeman and have you know press release press releases published. Now it's like, how do I, yeah, you know, yeah. how do I work the Facebook algorithm? Yeah, or, you know, yeah. you know, is it a five mile radius? Is it a fifteen? What's my demographic like? Yeah. Is it male, female? How old? What are, you know? How educated yeah, yeah. they are? So these are these are things that um. That we think about, or we have to think yeah. about. That we're, you well, know, in the that past, I get excited about as well. In the past, that was beyond us. We were kind of just, you know, I was the writer, and then I was dependent on whoever to to sell the books, you know, and and advertise and all of this. And uh, you're right; we have to be a little bit more proactive in terms of promotion. Um, and it's just there anyway, if you figure it out, you know, Facebook or and, Twitter and, and so on. And, and, so and if I may Yuri, add, what's it's, this creating, business? it's creating communities online. Right. Sorry. What is this? Uh, you, you I just wanted, wanted to, to add, it's about creating communities online. Right. You want to talk about lost time. What is this about lost time? Have you lost time uh, with the pandemic? Hmm. Uh, have I lost time with the pandemic? I think I think I think I went through the pandemic in shifts. Like yeah. there was a time when I felt now, whoa, I can't travel, and you know, for me, travel is life. And what do I do? You know, I I, I travel to escape. I trap. I travel to recharge. So, what do I do now? So that you know, that made me decide to do my Carmen thing, and. Time being time, it, it gave me a lot of time to think, to think about, uh, you know, where I am, what should I do. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's time really lost, lost and time gained. It's not really lost then. It was just an opportunity to meditate, to think. It, I mean, you consider it really lost? I don't think. It's, it's a gentler time, I guess. I mean, I, yeah, I, I mean... I know, I'm, I'm waxing nostalgic about carbon, but for me, it was uh, a magical time. It was a good time. It was a gentle time for me. Well, and, you know, I why, will have... why will you not stay longer? Um, my lease is up. I think six months is is enough. is enough time for me to to <laughs> to have to have to have uh, explored the place. Um, I'm okay. I'm good. I think uh, I have enough of Carmen to 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 to, to, to live with. You. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. tell, tell me what your uh, immediate plans are in the next six months. Where do you see yourself? The immediate plans. Well, uh, ooh. the immediate plan is to keep sane, pagihapon, because you know it's it always it's a battle against you know looking at Facebook posts, you know. Uh, and 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 thinking about whether to engage or not engage. I mean, as you know, uh, we just celebrated People Power um, anniversary yesterday. So, I have a nine-year-old um, child. So, um, I had to ask her, "Oi, do you know why it's a holiday? Oi, you know how come you don't have online class?" And you know, we you know talked about People Power, Marcos, how. How how you know, you know how Edsa was transformed into like a, a you know a, a party basically you know marching to Malacanang and kicking yeah. out the dictator, because yeah. yeah, I mean you 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 sort of need to make sense of that and to share that history with younger people because younger yes, people agree. Uh, even us, we tend to forget. We tend to yes. forget our history. So well, yeah, to keep sane, to keep sane is one. Uh, what else? There's plans to do Jane's Walk online because Jane's Walk is an initiative that we've done um, uh, for for about two years and then we stopped last year. It's basically just exploring the city and the history oh, of the city and food places. So nice, yeah. Henry. 
You can do documentaries, <laughs> right? Little documentaries about that. Sorry. You can make documentaries. Ah, so the, the the idea right now is to find what's a perfect fit for it in terms of like the storytelling and the narrative. Um, of course, James Walk, uh, being a global franchise, they would have um, certain guidelines for us to do what you can and cannot do. Because even before, during the when when we had to do the walks live, you know, they had like they had like you know little guidelines for us to do. So I'm sure, in terms of the online, there will be guidelines that we we will have to you know follow or adapt or tweak for uh, our, our localized audience. Things in my head, you know, either for reflection or for projects to do, or just like things to think about for you know the past the present the future um, now now is a now is the time i think to to reflect and think on those things are you going yeah, to write it's, it's it's also uh, <laughs> i i don't know it, it it takes a lot and i get so distracted i think more <laughs> that that's also something to think about how connected we are and how this and and how sometimes it's good to disconnect from our consumption yeah. of media and our devices yeah um yeah because wow it's like you're on facebook and then suddenly oh did i just was that like four hours and, yeah. and, you know, and then you don't consider pa the other the other sites that we go to netflix um you know uh other sites instagram Mom. And you're just there browsing and browsing and consuming the content, and you know, it, 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 you know, you, 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 you absorb it, whether yeah. negative or positive, and then you know, you become reactionary. So sometimes you just have to stop and think. Wait, how, how, you know, is is this thing affecting me positively or negatively? So, kind of. So, so, so that, so that's something I, I would like to, to, to consider and, and to think about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you have you been to Manila? Have you seen uh, Frankie Jose? No, I have not. Um, I, I have not. Uh, there were big plans for him. I think he even canceled his birthday celebration. So um, I've not. I've not. I've not seen him. I bumped into Hope Yu, Chinese yes. New Year, in in uh, in Ayala. Lighting up for Chinese food, <laughs> so we had a we had a short chat. Um, I, I you know uh, gave her a book, and then um, she invited me to to speak. It, it, and she's doing something online as well. I think in April, so I said yes to that. Um, so yeah, talk about Lit Fest probably, and just you know share share my experience in in organizing festivals and just in general. Uh, so who have I? Who have I seen? I sent Rasil a message, um, Kanina, because I was at book sale and I got a few books. And you know, normally I I would bump into him some book sale or or like yeah. bookstores, and I sent him a message, you know, asking yeah. how he was. And, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't quite met up with a lot of people. No, it's it's it's, it's better to not to actually. So um, I'm gonna probably um, uh, wrap this up. Uh, if you have a couple more station uh, statements, uh, anything um, in when the pandemic passes, are we still on with the Cebu Library? I hope so. I mean, you, you know, it, it would also be worthwhile, Siguro, to explore online and, and what we what we can do online. Ah, yes, sir. It's just that it, it 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 just it just takes a lot of work, lang, a lot of um, you know, a, a lot of mental mental things, ba. I know. Because wow, when we zoom, it's really the Wi-Fi. It's hard, <laughs> and you know, I. That's why I said, you know, better if we you did this Zoom thing at 5 a.m. Because in the daytime, wow, it's so, so erratic. So, 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 so that's oh, yes. the Thank biggest challenge. Thank you for waking up and, and doing this at 5 in the morning, Henry. I appreciate <laughs> Thank you it. All. It's so, 1, uh, 1 o'clock California time, but 
Henry went out of his way to wake up at five to be able to do this oh. interview. I very much appreciate it. So um, thank, thank you. you. And um, thank you. I'll, I'll update you on what's going on and we'll, we'll continue to, to keep in touch with our projects. Bye-bye, Henry. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.